And since it's February, we are in our love era, and we've got April Blum here. Look what she is pulling out of the oven as we speak. Yes. That's a lot of deliciousness there. It smells so good in here. I wish you could smell the bacon. Yes. They so look just like roses. They do. And so they kind of sit in the fat. And you they could, sit I, in the I fat. hate to say that, but you could put. <laughs> We're still eating them. <laughs> yes. So you could put toothpicks on them to kind of keep them out. But because they're candied and I use brown sugar. Brown sugar and what was the other ingredient? Cayenne pepper. Cayenne so you pepper. get that sweet, that salty, and then that little bit of a heat kick, which is really nice. But I like to pull them out and then just kind of dip them because there's still uh, that sugar yeah. that sticks to it, which is fantastic. So, so do you roll the bacon in mm -hmm. the cayenne and the brown sugar and it sticks automatically? Yes. So I Before get Before you cook it. Oh, absolutely. Okay. So there's like a big bowl of sugar and cayenne pepper that I um, put there. And I just coat the bacon. Not like... So it doesn't have to testing. sit in it. You just coat no, it. No, but I'm heavy with my <laughs> sugar. I'm heavy with my sugar and We're generous. Cayenne. Yes, yes, very much so. Because we love the bacon. Yes, and it tastes good. It really, it literally just candies it. Yeah. Um, and then sometimes, you like, just roll it up into it the is, rolls. and it's just fantastic. And it's this a perfect is... little snack, one bite yeah. size, and warm or cold. Although it usually doesn't stay. Um, long enough to cool down in my house because my husband is oh, snacking could, yeah, on it. I oh, could see that. So good. Yeah, so good. I'd be smacking hands in my house, <laughs> pulling them out of the oven. Yep. The kids and my husband would be <laughs> stealing them. One, you know, the first year that I made them, actually, um, I put them in Tupperware in the refrigerator. Do you mind? Sure, no, no, you're good. Over so everybody oh, can yeah, see yeah. this. So look at that. Um, oh, it's gorgeous. So the first year I made some and put them in the Tupperware and I was like, where are my um, bacon roses? I could have swore <laughs> I had more and my husband was in there sneaking in. So now I have to make extra well, each time. How many time. did you make, April? I Five? Made, I made, <laughs> exactly, yeah. They do, they look gorgeous. And I, I know that a dozen bacon roses would go over a lot better in my house to my husband than a dozen fresh roses. And it is, it's something nice actually that's kind of geared just for, um, the, not just for the guys, cause I eat them too, but. But it's something different. It is, and yeah. it's unique for them. And you know, they they kind of get shafted sometimes for Valentine's yeah, Day. That so. definitely happens in my household. I know, right? Yeah. You know, I hear those stories all the time about how I, I over promise and under <laughs> Not this oh, year. Well. Not this year. I know, right? Thanks to you. Yeah. And I do want to show off one more. Can we just show these off yeah, too? Absolutely. All the love. All the love. So we've got the bacon, the heart bacon. I know you keep working. It's yep. fine. I, I'm uh, highly qualified for the yes. not so much work <laughs> duties. Look at those. In my bestie era, in my love era. She's got like the little gnome too, which I know a lot of people love the gnomes. Yep. And for the kids, you are dynamite. Yep. And you're my gnomey, which it's just clever. And I love that you can do this in a way that makes them look so fabulous. And I will tell you, they taste good too. I've yeah. tasted April's <laughs> food and it's amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, we're going to dig into those. That's happening. Yep. <laughs> thank you for coming. Absolutely. All right.